If you live or work in St. John's County and you need help from police, they may respond more quickly in the future. Right now, the sheriff's office is making changes to zones for patrol deputies. The change comes as rapid growth continues, especially in the northwestern part of the county. And that's where News 4 Checks reporter Allison Henning is live tonight. Allison, the sheriff's office hasn't made a change like this in decades. That's right. They tell me it's been the same since the 1980s and many of the boundary lines were divided up by major roads up until now. But with all the growth and development, both commercial and residential all across the county, a lot has changed and response times to certain parts of town just weren't where the sheriff's office wanted it to be. Wooded areas turning to dirt, then development. It's a common sight in St. Johns County and it's not slowing down anytime soon. The sheriff's office is working to stay ahead of the growth and the growing number of calls for service. This month, it made some major changes to its patrol assignment maps, going from 15 zones to 30 new sectors and subsectors. The boundaries you see here in red were drawn out with the future in mind. So there are some areas right now that are a subsector for us that quite frankly right now is nothing but woods, but we know that the permits have already been approved. We know it's already on the planning board uh, to move forward. And so in the near future, there may be two, three, four, five thousand homes in that area, which is now woods. Public information officer Chuck Mulligan says the goal is efficiency and faster response times to calls where people's lives or properties could be at risk. We want to be there in five minutes or less. We saw that some of our response times were starting to creep up in certain areas at certain times of the day, upwards of seven minutes. And so what we're hoping to do is to bring that down. People we spoke with feel the sheriff's office already does a good job patrolling the county, but are glad to see deputies preparing for what's ahead. They're here. They're friendly. They have a presence. They seem to, uh, you know, want to make sure that the neighborhood stays safe. And the boundaries on this new map are flexible should any major developments come up. I'm told as far as mapping is concerned, the sheriff's office should be good for about the next 20 years or so. Reporting live in St. John's County, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.